gonna give birth to any more babies? Oh God, yes. That's why, so I don't won't give birth to any more babies. before we get started with today's vlog i am working with a brand new clothing company I know, I know you guys love when i do a try on on my channel so i am bringing you a brand new company called bianu i really hope i'm saying that right if not it will be across the screen as well as in the description box they are super colorful they're african print they are african style clothing so i'm just excited i'm just bringing something new to my channel and if you guys are interested in any of these items they will be linked down below i will also let you guys know the name of each item and the size that i got them in so if you want to see how they fit what they looking like stay tuned all right guys so this first piece is called the majira african print kimono i have it on as a wrap dress this dress can be worn in different ways you can wear it how i'm wearing it as a wrap dress it has pockets it comes all the way down to the ground. I don't know if you guys can see, but it comes all the way to my ankles. This can also be worn as a cover-up. This can also be worn as a duster opened up with your outfit underneath showing. Or you can wear it how I wore it as a dress. It's totally up to you. Look how beautiful this print is. The material does have a little bit of a stretch to it. So you're definitely not going to feel too constricted. I, I just love the pockets. I love that it has pockets in it. This is really cute. This just reminds me of something that um, all of the fly women would wear to church when I was growing up as a kid. It just, it reminds me of that. I think it would be really cute if you wore it with like an all black outfit underneath or maybe even an all white outfit, then you just have it. Like this was just like your pop, like your just little added duster to the top. And I think that would be cute, so. All right, this is the next item. This is the Ikara African print crop top. I got this one in a size large. So let me get closer so you guys can see the beautiful pattern. This is how it looks. It has nice puff sleeves. It has an elastic band around your torso. I definitely appreciate that. It also has elastic band around the arms here so you can definitely move your arms free freely you are not constricted if you don't want to wear them off your shoulder you don't have to this is how it looks pulled up on the shoulders you can go braless you can wear a strapless bra with this i just think it's really cute this is would be nice with some denim i probably wouldn't wear this with these black leggings but just for trying purposes this is how i did it this is cute y'all like i love this and i just love how stretchy and free that I feel in this top. I probably will rock this with some light blue jeans. And I just think it, it feels good. Like, look at this. I mean, I could wear it with these black leggings. What do you think? Ooh, I think I see my favorite so far. And it has pockets. And she has pockets. Okay, this is called the Wimba African Print One Shoulder Top. As you see, it is cropped. It has the elastic around the waist, just like the other crop top I showed you guys. And it has this ruffle detail. Look at the prints. I love this print. I like that it has so much pink in it. Absolutely love this one. Y'all know I love a good crop top. And it has pockets. So it's just like, check, check, yes, thank you. It comes all the way to the ground on me. Now it does have a split opening. I still have my black leggings on, but it does have a split. So if you want to show off some leg, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I think this is just so fun. This is so cute. It makes me want to go to like, I don't know, like a wedding, a baby shower. Material has very minimal stretching to it, but you really don't need for this to stretch because it's one of those like, free spitting flowy outfits so i mean the only thing that is showing is your stomach everything else is covered up and so both in a size extra large i probably could have sized down to a size large and both of them to be honest with you definitely the top just because it's a little bit loose on me but um extra large is not bad i could just pin it on the side but i think a large if you're my size definitely go with the size large Ooh, hello Hello, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> this is called the Nabibi tie waist crop top and I paired it with these pants here. 
pants are called the Safina African Print Pants. I got both of these in a size extra large. And baby, I'm ready for brunch. I am ready for brunch. Look at this. This top, oh my goodness. I love it so much. Yes, you're probably just thinking, it's just a plain white top. But it's not just a plain white top. First of all, it ties, it's cropped. Look at these sleeves. Do you see how good these sleeves are? Some items probably do need to be ironed. I'm just taking these out the packages. This is a first impressions for you guys and a first impressions for me too. So don't mind if you see anything that has wrinkles on it. Guys, I absolutely love this top. I love it. And then look at these pants. Body. Body. Hello, who is she? They do come all the way down to my ankles. I am 5'9", guys. So these are tall girl friendly. I absolutely love that. Thank you, Dianu. Thank you so much. Every item that I've tried on, everything has come down to my feet. I just, I just appreciate that so much. These pants have a really nice stretch to them. Look at that. I probably could have went down to a size large, but this extra large, I think it's fitting me good. It has pockets. It does have a side zipper right here, so it's easy for you to pull them on. The front is flat. It doesn't have any buttons or anything in the front. And then this is how the back looks. We're going to brunch, guys. Let me get my purse. This is my brunch bag. Okay. Cute. Kind of sexy, but definitely sophisticated. You guys, let me know what you think about these items down below. Which one was your favorite? My favorite, I don't know if it was the first crop top I put on or the two-piece set, or the brunch pants. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Or maybe this top. I don't know. I think everything fit me really good. I love every piece. Thank you so much to Dianu for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Like I said, guys, don't skip the description box. Check them out. They are a black-owned company, and they have so many different styles of African print items. Now, guys, on to the vlog. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the vlog. It is Tuesday. It's the afternoon. I've been up for about two hours. This person slept with me last night. They just woke up about mm, an, hour. an hour ago. We don't know about Ethan. He's probably Ethan. Ethan is definitely still asleep. And we're hungry. We're yeah, me and, me and her are hungry. I'm watching Melanin Monroe. She's a T page. She's a YouTuber T page. So. If you are into that, <laughs> check her out. I, the people she talks about on YouTube, I, like I don't even really know these YouTubers. Like she's talking about Carmen and Corey right now. They're like a really young demographic. I don't watch their vlogs or anything. But she just keeps you up to date. They're not really like messy, but she keeps you up to date on what they post and drama they going through. I mean, stuff that, that they actually put out in the world themselves, so. Anyway, I'm about to take my gummies from the reserve. Told you guys, I think these gummies really helped my nails, especially my toenail, my skin. So, not sponsored by them. I had a sponsored video by them, but this one's not. But if you are looking for a good vitamin for hair, skin, and nails, check out the reserve. I do have a coupon code if you guys want. And I know I don't get any money off of this coupon code. This is just to help you guys out. That code is Gina Janine 50 and I will put it on the screen. Um, I already took my birth control. What's that? Huh? What's that? What's what, birth control? Yeah. What is that? So do you give birth to any more babies? Oh God, yes. That's why, so I don't, won't give birth to any more babies. <laughs> Three is enough. It's, it's, it's almost... I thought you said that you only wanted, like, when you were a kid, you always wanted four or three. And yeah, I always wanted four or three kids. Right, and so I have three. Now it's your time to make it four. Girl, my old butt cannot be trying to start over. I cannot. <laughs> I finally see freedom with you guys. Like, uh, no. <laughs> no. Not gonna happen. I know these eggs is dusty, crusted, poached, and scrambled. So, uh, these eggs ain't doing nothing, okay? 
but uh oh, i lit me a candle earlier when i woke up it's been burning for about two hours my little aldi's gardenia candle baby what you want to eat i'm about to eat a meal prep, What's a meal prep? Oh, my my meal from whole foods do you want biscuits and sausage i can make you a oh do i want an egg and cheese sandwich oh an egg and cheese sandwich sounds so good you want a biscuit sandwich a biscuit with sausage and eggs in the middle you don't have to eat breakfast though because it's 12 30. y'all this is the outfit that i got in my p.o box from a subscriber this is so cute she got it from fashion nova and she said that she was just shopping and she thought about me and she just bought it and it fits so cute and nice okay. we just ate a really really small breakfast breakfast at one o'clock baby girl is washing our dishes how so sweet of her teach her how to hand wash hand washing at an early age we don't we don't just throw dirty dishes in the dishwasher and turn it on uh -uh. okay just made up my bed it's not perfect by any means because i was just sitting on it but i just like my my bed has to be like neat you know, for me to like really just get my day started. <clears throat> okay, so if you guys are up to date on my videos, then you know in my last vlog, I went to Chanel. Scam call. Anyway, um, I went to Chanel and I bought um, a handbag that was an impulse buy. It, it was it was it was half impulse by half um i got talked into it when the sales associate is telling you oh only three bags are in the houston area two sold out the first day this is the very last one this color is so hard to come by oh trust me if you don't buy this bag now if you wanted to go home and think about it it won't be here the next day um, oh my goodness, this color is just so beautiful. Oh, it didn't go so perfect with your outfit. And wow, you already have it in black. So you need to just go ahead and get it in this nude color and blah, 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 blah. So $6,700 later, I'm driving home with regret. I actually spent more than that because I bought some sneakers. But y'all know I'm a sneaker girl. I wear all my designer sneakers, all of them. Like, been a sneaker girl. But um, anyway, so yeah, driving home with regret. I told my best friend what I got. She said, girl, you crazy. Why? That bag is going to get so filthy and dirty. And I'm like, you know what? I know it is. But I can be careful with it. I can be careful. Then I'm realizing it's a very light, light color. I'll, I, I, I do have it in black. It's just a medium Chanel, boy, uh, I'd say boy bag, a medium Chanel 19 bag. Um, so anyway, to make a long story short, even Ashton, Ashton did not approve of my purchase. So I returned it two days later and I went with the bag that I originally wanted, the bag that I have had my eye on for about two months now. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's a very popular bag. And this is, this is not a bag that you're going to get talked into where, oh, you might not be able to get it anymore. It's going to be sold out if you don't act now. It is this. I think this is called the Lou. Is this called the Lou bag? I feel like this is called the Lou bag. I, I could be wrong. Correct me down below. I can Google it, but um, anyway. So this is the medium size. They have a one, another size below this. And then they also have a size above this. The size above this, bad, bossy. I mean, it's huge. It's not just a few inches bigger than this. It is big, almost like, reminds you of like a travel bag. It's shaped like that, but it reminds you of like a duffel bag, like the size of it. I tried it on and I was like, oh, it's just too big. It's too big, but I love it. Um, Anyway, so this one was 23, here's the price, $23.50 plus tax. I think with tax, I got it for $2,500. But because I bought it from Saks, and there was a reason I bought it from Saks, because I was going to go into the St. Laurent store, because the St. Laurent store is right across the hall from Chanel. I stood in line, and I'm like, why is this taking so long? Why is it? There's nobody in line. It looked like there were only two customers on the inside. 
And I'm like, it's just taking forever. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go to sex. So I go to sex and I get a $400 gift card. So really, I look at it as only paying $2,100 instead of $2,500 because I have a $400 sex gift card that I can use towards anything in the store. There's no restrictions on it. So, uh, so yeah, I have about a month and a half until that expires. So I'll be, I mean, see Ashton admiring it. This is so nice. It looks better. Come on, we should peel it off. It's going to be so satisfying. It looks can better than the other off? bag, right? Yeah. Can I peel it off? I don't want it. I, I don't. See, it has so much detail. Like the other one, it would just go straight. This one is like this. Yep. And this one's way better. She got a four hundred dollar something gift card. Yep, I was just telling them that. And I met a subscriber. Oh yeah. I met a subscriber in there. She works in there. I think her name she's her name was Vanessa, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost positive. But yeah, so I love my purchase. My my refund should be hitting my account tomorrow, hopefully. It should be tomorrow, because it's been two days already. So I just released my second um, hotels video and I just picked up my phone to start responding to um, y'all's comments. And someone said, don't, don't forget to let us know how the date goes. Yes, I forgot. I went on a date two nights ago. In my last vlog, I was telling you guys how I like an aggressive man that's not like, so what do you want to do? What day do you want to go? What time do you want to go? Who wants to ask me all the questions? And basically, I planned my own date and I could just go by myself, go my home girls. Yeah, he was, I thought he was doing that at first. He was, he did kind of, but just not all the way. He wound up picking a place. Anyway, so the date that I went on with this guy went extremely well. Um, tall, chocolate, Nigerian, beautiful teeth, swag out of this world. He lives in one of the most expensive, exclusive high rises in the Houston area. Just a small little studio costs over $2,000 in that building that he lives in. Travis Scott has a place in that building that he lives in. So let me see if I remember what it's called. Because as soon as when he told me and we left the date, I Googled it. <laughs> let me see. Is it still in my Google? Probably not. Dang it. Remember, I called my, my home grandma, I remember, because I called her and told her. She was like, yeah, I know exactly what that is, where that building's at. But um, the date went really well. And um, he's somebody who I met a few months ago. And we had only texted each other. He had asked to call me like twice. And then, and then I don't know if he didn't call or if he called and I didn't answer the phone. But I know he's he's wanted to talk to me on the phone. And I don't think I was just that interested in our text conversations. I don't think it just, it ain't take me there, you know. But our date in person, I mean... I was I was blown away. Looks, seeing him like just not at a you know we met at a at a bar, <laughs> so not so seeing him outside of that environment, and then just talking to him, seeing how intelligent he is, how driven he is, just so much that he has going on. He's a a boss, a boss. He has employees in different states and countries. Um, yeah, he said that he's very very high up in the tech world. Um, I don't want to say what his company is, but he said he's very, um, he said in the tech world, his company is very known. So um, he does travel a lot. He says that he travels for work like every two weeks he's going somewhere. Um, so he said that he's usually gone like three times out the month. But um, it went good. We want, we are already like talking about a second date and uh, yeah, but there's just some things I know I can't give him. He really wants kids. Like he really wants kids and I have three kids and I just cannot imagine having another. So, <sighs> but I understand him, you know, we are the same age and for him to you know, hold out and not have any kids. So he's like, he's, he's like, he really, really wants kids. And he, when he said it, he gave me that look like, I'm like, don't look at me. Like I said earlier in this vlog, these eggs, these eggs are done. They might not be done, but mentally I'm, I'm done. I have three kids. I, I can't, I, I don't see it. I would literally have to be madly. I was about to say madly in love, not madly in love. My husband 
if my husband wanted another child, I can, I would do it if, if able to. Because, I mean, women are having kids later and later now. Um, so my, my husband would really, really, really want to have a kid for me to do that. But that's about it. <laughs> At this point, uh-uh. So, but anyway, yeah, the date went really good. We went to a restaurant called North Italia. I had never heard of it, never seen it. The food was amazing. Um, the drinks were strong. And the conversation was good, y'all. I have to think of a nickname for him if we uh, wind up do going on a second date and really, like, connecting. I have to think of a nickname for him so y'all can know who he is, so. We shall see. I just picked up the camera to tell you guys that. I'm about to continue responding to you guys' comments. Yeah, that's what's going on. It's 2 p.m. on Tuesday. And this is what I got going on for the day. I've already responded to emails. I uploaded a video. I sent another video to my sponsors. I've, I mean, I've done work. I just, luckily, I get to work like this. <laughs> it's a blessing. Y'all just got an email from Amazon saying my package was delivered. And look how they delivered it on top of my Zara package. So my Zara package is sitting out there and my Amazon package. Thank you, Amazon, for letting me know. Oh, that Aldi candle smells so good. It's so strong. Y'all, if y'all have an Aldi's in the area, get y'all some of those $3.99 candles. One of my subscribers, she sent me a DM on Instagram. They were on sale at her location for like $2.40. I was like, oh my God. Oh, I ain't shopping no more. I'm done shopping. Lock all this up. Put the chain on the door. Yes, my love. Can I make y'all go outside? Y'all want to go outside and ride your bikes? What time is it? It's 2.45? I don't even remember what I ordered. You know what? I do think I remember what I ordered from Amazon. I think I ordered another one of those tall girl maxi dresses that I wear all the time. They come all the way past my feet. And I think I ordered, yes, I think this, this should be it. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, brown dress. Now, Zara, will I wear a cropped blazer? I don't know. But I just thought this would be so cute with like a cropped little white tank top underneath, some jeans and some white heels or like black heels maybe. It was, oh my God, a 120. I got it for $29.99. Wow. 120 for this? Zara is crazy. They tripping. Then I bought a one piece jumpsuit. It's a seamless super stretchy one piece jumpsuit. This one I got in a size medium large. It was $40. I got it for $9.99. Then, oh, these are too big. Oh, I can already tell these are too big. To show y'all anyway, there's some um, chocolate brown pillow, like puffy pillow sandals. These were $40. I got them for 15. Zara clearance sale. It should still be going on. It's been going on for like a month now. But in store, they really don't have nothing left. You got to find all your stuff online. Oh, yeah, these way too big. Some people's like, oh, Zara is so cheap. It's affordable. It's this and that. Zara is expensive. That's why I literally only shop Zara during their sale. Got my road dog with me. We at the gas station. I need to drop packages off. And I was going to try to run by the dollar store while we're out. While we got a little bit of time. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm just praying that this gas is under $70. But, y'all, I've told y'all this before. You need to get this. Let me see. You need to get this app. It's for Exxon. Exxon and Mobile. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me try to cover up the uh, location that I'm at. <laughs> it's the Exxon Mobile app. But every time you use it, all you do is either put in your Apple Pay or you link a debit card or whatever. And you literally, it detects which station you're at. And you just put which pump number you're at. And you get points for every time you fill up. 
you don't have to fill up. You can put fifteen, twenty dollars in if you wanted to, but you get points. So I had enough points today to get ten dollars off of my gas. Use. Okay, so it stopped at sixty three, so I'm only gonna be paying fifty three out of my account. So the Exxon Mobile app, it's worth it. You ain't gotta never go inside and swap your card. You ain't gotta swap your card over here. Another free app that I just love telling you guys about. No, I don't have any referral or coupon, whatever, nothing like that. But just sign up for it. And yeah, you save on gas all the time. Okay, the um the realtor just left with the family that came to look at the house. It's always so weird when people are looking through your stuff, you know? Yeah, just always gotta check and make sure ain't nothing missing. I doubt anything would be, but you, you just never know. People got quick hands. People got quick hands, I'm just looking. <laughs> looking in my closet, looking around. Like my perfume, okay. Ain't nothing missing. They were very nice, so. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> nice people still. Nice people do shady shit. <laughs> I just, you can't put a pay nobody. But anyway, I just heated me up a meal prep. I am starving. Last thing I ate was this morning when I made the, um, when I made a breakfast sandwich. So this is one of my meals from a uh, snap kitchen. It's some type of pasta, some type of like buttercream sauce and chicken. It's only 500 calories. Let me make sure it's only 500 calories, but I might just be telling y'all a whole total lie. Yes, 500 calories, zero sugar, two fiber, anyway. Yeah, a little portion control. I think, oh, I keep forgetting I have this tuna in here. Even though it's only been in there like three days, I still keep forgetting. Um, I think Popeyes came out with their new chicken, not, I'm about to say chicken strips, with their new nuggets today. I watched Aaliyah J's video that she posted like a week ago and she said July 27th they were coming out with new uh, chicken nuggets. And I'm like, ooh, I wonder how that tastes. That's gonna be good. And she, and they like gave her like a little sample thing and with all the sauces and stuff, it looked good, so. So good guys, 10 out of 10, recommend. Yeah, this is, this is really, really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think this one might be my favorite one out of all the meals. It tastes like barbecue, mixed up. Mm -hmm. With like, just spaghetti noodles with sauce. That's what it tastes like. Like the chicken noodles. They, they like definitely flame grilled this chicken. You can, you it can tell. It tastes like barbecue. Yeah. And how mom heated it up. Mm, she did so good. Mm -hmm. Next time we go to Whole Foods, I'm paying for something like that. I'm gonna buy that. The meal was $10. So me and my shadow, we're in Target, picking up a few things. I'm not picking up too, too much because I'm not, I'm they're going with their dad in like three days and then I'm about to be out of town for four days, so. Look at her. Come on. Come on. Look at this crazy girl. Y'all need pancakes on a stick? Yeah. Y'all were telling me this Stoke, this Stoke brand coffee is good. You need coffee, Mom? Yeah, I need coffee. I'm big Stoke. Okay, so we're gonna go with this one. It's only 15 calories. Should be zero sugar. Yep, zero sugar. All right, y'all, it is much later. I was out, I done came back home. I done went out again, and now I'm back home. We got some Popeyes for dinner. Y'all, the Popeyes special used to be two pieces of chicken for a dollar. Guess how much it costs now? $2.50. It's $2.50 for the Tuesday special by me. I'm like, that's not a special. Anyway, I got the chicken nuggets that just came out today. They look so good. I ordered a 12 piece. This don't look like 12 pieces in my opinion, but that's, that's what I ordered. Look at them. Y'all, that looks so, look at that. It's a huge nugget. Look at that. Look how big these nuggets are. Well, that's kind of small, but 
They look so good. They forgot my dipping sauces, which I'm so mad. I asked for honey mustard. I asked for a blackened ranch. And I also asked for a bowl of barbecue. Mom. I didn't get none. Oh. Yes, baby. Isn't that you saw a guy get that? Wait. Thankfully, I keep all my extra condiments, so. She does. We will be eating with Chick-fil-A barbecue sauce, Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce, and a Popeye's Sweet Heat. Let's try this chicken nugget with no sauce. We just want to taste it just, so where my phone is? We just going to taste it how it goes. Biscuit and honey. Mm. Yes, that's the right way to eat it. Oh, Chicken nuggets? Beans, Nine out of ten. Mm. Coleslaw. Who got, who got his Apple Watch? I love coleslaw. She bought her own Apple Watch, Ethan. How much did it cost? Okay, so I did receive a few packages in the mail today, and I do want to show you guys a few things. What I got, I think I showed y'all some earlier, but I got some more. I want to show y'all this backpack that can double as a purse. That can double as a travel bag or it can be a kid's school backpack. Whatever you want it to be, whatever you want to use it as, you can. Check them out. Thank you. Thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love my new backpack, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so I also got a package from Nike. How cute is this? It was on clearance on the Nike website. And if you are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off. Okay? Just Google that. Nike.com, first responder, discount. 
sign up for that. So even though I'm not currently working, I still got my 10% off. <laughs> and it was, like I said, it was on clearance on top of that. So I did get these leggings. I got the matching top. I am going to try to start working back out soon. Look how expensive that was. I think I got it for like 26 And I think I got these for like $34, $35. So, and then with a 10% discount. So I think this is like really cute. They got a bunch of cute little stuff on the Nike website, y'all. Fast shipping. And then you get an additional cash back. You do it through Retail Me Not. That's a whole other thing. Retail Me Not is free also. And they give cash back rebates, y'all. I just be putting y'all on everything. Then this t-shirt I thought was cute. Y'all know I love a statement t-shirt. Y'all know I love a statement t-shirt. So this uh, t-shirt is from uh, this guy that I found on Instagram. I will have his Instagram on the screen. I love this shirt. It's just a plain basic black t-shirt, but it says police the police. The police police us, but who polices them? No one polices them unless we catch them doing something on camera. And then we still, then they'll still say it wasn't what it looked like. But anyway, y'all check him out. Black brother, a uh, small business. He is definitely fighting for the cause. And buy a t-shirt to support. It was only $25. Um, this was not sent to me. I paid for this with my own coin because I love supporting us. Morning, y'all. Headed to my lash appointment. My lashes actually don't look that bad. The only reason that I'm really getting them done is because I go to Miami in four days. Today's Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I go to Miami in three days. Is this FedEx truck stopping for me? Is this FedEx truck stopping for you, girl? Shouldn't be. I don't think I have no packages coming. All good right. morning. How are, are you? you today? Great. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. All right. So you're going to put me down, huh? Huh? Yeah, I am. All right. I don't like this neighborhood. <laughs> How long have you been over here? One year, that's it. Oh, really? Yeah, and I don't like it. I'm about to go. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, take it easy. I was just saying that I'm going to Miami in, on Saturday. Today's Wednesday. I go to Miami Saturday morning. Um, so I would have let my lashes stay, like go out probably another, I don't know, maybe a week. But y'all know I gotta have the full bat wings to go out of town. They gotta be just extra and dramatic. So that's where I'm headed to now. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take her a long time. Usually when they're real sparse, they, it takes her two hours. But I'm hoping to only be in there for like an hour and a half. I got my band on my hat, AKA my wig. Y'all know I call my wigs my hats cause the way I just popped this thing on is it's literally like a hat. And I think this has grown to be like my favorite wig. My favorite wig used to be the one that I had to crimp myself. But this one honestly gives you the same effect. And I ain't got to crimp it. It's just naturally like these beachy type waves. So this hair is from Amanda Hair. I'm almost positive I'd have to go home and look. But I'm almost positive it's from Amanda Hair. It's 24 or 26. I want to say it's probably 24. Good morning, Gina. This is Jessica from Five Star Smiles. I'm calling you to remind you the appointment for this Monday, August 2nd. You have an appointment scheduled at 9.30 a.m. Please give us a call back at this number. It's for my, that's the uh, voicemail that was just sent for my, for my teeth. I'm getting my teeth buffed in Miami. That's the whole reason I'm going when we just turned it into a trip. Uh, and I'm trying to get them like shaved at the bottom just slightly. But, um, so let me call them back. They usually never answer the phone. Okay, well, that's annoying. That's very annoying. How y'all just don't answer you? Anyway. That's, that's crazy. About two and a half hours later, your girl is done. <laughs> The time, it doesn't really matter to me because when I book, I honestly don't have anything to do afterwards. Today's the first time I actually have something to do afterwards. So I'm actually kind of rushing home to use the bathroom and change real quick. But um, my lashes look good. They look really good. She did them really like extra, extra full um, because I am going out of town, of course. So I want them to look like dramatic but they'll look like perfect 
I would say in like the next Baby, two, three days. you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. And then my burger, fries, and I drank a water was $33. Then they kind of bait you into giving a tip, even though it's one of those places where you order, they bring you your food, but then there's no, like you bring, get your own drink, you get your own to-go box. You, after that, you do everything yourself. And she was like, oh, tips are greatly appreciated. I'm like, girl, huh? I'm like, girl, this is one of them places where I'm doing everything myself. But yeah, tips are greatly appreciated. I bet yeah. they are. So I was baited into doing a two dollar tip. So the total was thirty five dollars. That's a lot for burgers that weren't even good. I just got done watching Peyton's vlog. Now I'm getting in some messy boots. Watching my girl Tasha K. Now y'all know I love her. You either love or hate her. It, it ain't no in between. Ever since we got back from um. That event earlier today, I have just been tired. Dead tired, being standing in line, being in that heat. Then when we got inside, it was still hot. So, I don't know, like I am just drained. Then it's like uh, my lashes, my eyes still, my eye, my like so my lids feel heavy the first day. And I have small eyes, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyes are, are they're pretty slanted if I didn't have these lashes on. And so, with slanted eyes, they already small. Then to put heavy lashes right on top of them, it just makes you just, I don't know. I look high almost, and I'm not. But anyway, they're a little bit heavy that first day, so. They're gonna be right on time by tomorrow, by mm, two days. But um, what else I had to tell y'all? Little shimmy, 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 shimmy. Um, I need a drink. I have not had a drink in a minute. I need a drink. And y'all, this right here, this right here is why I can't lose the little 15 pounds that I wanna lose. A Popeye's apple pie and some vanilla ice cream. And it is 10, 20 at night. I'm about to sit in bed, enjoy this, watch my girl Platinum D. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Y'all think McDonald's got good apple pie? <laughs> McDonald's ain't got nothing on Popeye's apple pie. I even like Church's apple pie better than McDonald's apple pie. 
What a burger apple pie. Everybody, I'm just not thinking like everybody hype up McDonald's apple pie. Every other fast food place got a better apple pie than McDonald's. McDonald's is good, don't get me wrong, but it's basic compared to everybody else. Why is you trying to be grown? Longer than a lot of guys I am. influences, okay? Um, we were on but refused to wear a training bra. Girl, get out. Get out of my room and take, what is that? <laughs> what is it? A sock or take paper towels? Paper Y'all wasting my good paper towels? Hey, those. Those are not Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. Those are my good paper towels. They were used. They're used! They were used, my, my butt. Where yeah. did you put? But hope y'all are y'all's daughters everything. like this? What you say? Ashton, take the. Hope y'all are having a great day. Bye. Look at me. No, we're not looking at nothing. Get out! <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the vlog, or welcome back to the vlog. I don't know. I don't know if this is a continuation from yesterday, or if this is a new vlog. I just picked my camera up. <laughs> But um, I'm headed to go get a body contouring massage. Um, I'm about 10 minutes away. Y'all, I don't feel good. I've had kind of like bubble guts <laughs> all morning. I woke up early this morning to pee, thinking that I'm just gonna get up to pee and I'm gonna go right back to bed. And this might be TMI for y'all, but y'all know I keep it all the way 100 with y'all. So I got up to pee, and my stomach started bubbling. So I had to do something else. That of course, once that happens, you up for the day. <laughs> so, and then just now, right before I left, and that was, like I said, early this morning. It's almost three o'clock now. And right before I was about to leave the house, my stomach started bubbling again. So, and I haven't eaten anything today. I'm thinking maybe it's because I ate a apple pie and ice cream right before I went to bed last night. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. So me waking up super early in the morning and going, I don't know y'all. And like I said, it's three o'clock. So if we're still be hurting my stomach and I haven't had anything, well I did have coffee. So that probably may have played a part in it. I had coffee around one o'clock. So with my stomach already not being a honey, then adding coffee on top of that and no food, Okay, you want some attention, that's so, so yeah. I don't know what I got myself set up for, trying to get a body contouring massage, and she gonna be pressing on my stomach, and my stomach don't feel good. <sighs> Come on, bruh. Oh, Lord, I might just set myself up for failure. <laughs> Portia comes in town today. She's gonna be here until Sunday, I leave Saturday morning, but it's Thursday, so I can probably hang out with her tonight or tomorrow night. We shall see. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. All right, y'all, I did not charge up my battery in this camera, and I kind of want to film a little bit of the um, body contouring, so I need to conserve this battery. So I'm gonna push all the way for a hot second. Okay, I just made it. Stomach does not feel any better. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Let me get myself together and look like I'm okay, even though I'm not. Sweet seven. Oh, sweet eight. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Doing great. Oh, welcome. Good. Oh, it's nice I'm in here. It's so really nice. I like this. And that's just for your lower legs, the bolster. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do I have your what? Metal implants? I do have metal in my body, but okay, not where? in my hip and in my ankle. Okay, so this hip? Yes. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Because the only thing about metal is I like to say like two finger breaths away from the area, but we're doing upper abdomen, so you'll be Oh, fine. okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. They, my clients only called me about two days later and said, you know what, I wasn't a believer. 
you know, in the machine. You know, you think, mm -hmm. like, oh, it's, it's not going to work. Yeah. But, like I said, this isn't the AliExpress one. This one's 80000 I invested in it. Ooh. Yeah. Y'all hear that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. We're going to start first with the um, skin tightening. So I call it the slim and tight. Okay. We're melting fat and we're tightening the skin. Now, is this any like pain? Discomfort? No, so no pain. Okay. What You'll feel like a hot stone massage. That's the sensation okay. you should feel. And comfort level of a hot stone massage. It shouldn't be anything painful. Okay. And what happens, you'll see me kind of looking back and forth at the machine because it has a thermometer cool gel. It's called Glide. It helps your machine glide and not burn the skin. So what happens is I'm looking at the thermometer that's on the machine. It's telling me your skin's temperature. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. All right. Let's get mm. going. So I'm just going to slowly warm up. Okay. And I'm going to just kind of add to your tolerance level, you know, make okay. sure you stay comfortable. But you'll see just some various different motions on there. Actually burn about six to 700 calories per is session. Is it a full body wrap or is so, it... Her area, like uh huh. So, full body. What I do here, I offer the sauna blanket. So, I would lay mm. it on the table, and actually, like the area that we really want to focus on, uh -huh. I actually apply like a warming cream and wrap you in saran wrap. So, we really sweat that, that particular zone. So, that's the arms, if that's the abdomen, the thighs, you know, I call it a skirt, or I can do the full area, all the areas. And wash me over until my will runs dry. offering lymphatic drainage massage body contouring so that's not just for post-op dolls that's for anyone that have stubborn fat or cellulite loose skin that just want to slim and tighten specific areas I also offer IV hydration so that's vitamins straight through the bloodstream so your body consumes all of it remember when you're taking vitamins by mouth you only receive about 30% of it 70% is absorbed through the digestive system and today on Lovely Gina, we performed our Slim and Tight session, and that's using my FDA-approved Venus Legacy machine. The machine uses radio frequency and multipolar technology to tighten the skin and also melt fat. She's also going to do a combo injection, which is our Lipo-C, which helps the body convert fat into energy, so we're burning fat. Your B12 shot helps with anemia. It helps with mood sleep and also you feel more clear as well clarity and come see me i'm located in west timer and like i said i'm a registered nurse and also certified in lymphatic drainage massage uh nurse tan so we're gonna help the body speed along that stored fat turn it into energy hence losing weight ladies dropping those extra pounds you want to shed you guys definitely come check her out. Literally, it's not painful. It's not any discomfort. I know some people are probably scared, like, oh, I'm gonna get bruises. I'm scared I'm gonna be jumping off the table. No, it's not like that. We literally held a conversation the entire time. It was comfortable. I mean, I was sweating. You can kind of see a little sweat on my upper lip. But I mean, you wanna be able to, right, heat the, the body yes, up. Yeah, so we're using actual heat. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're heating up the body and that's where we're, at a certain temperature, I'm looking for a targeted temperature range. And that's what's gonna cause the body to have the inflammatory response. So you'll have slight redness in the area, which is totally normal. That's what I like to see. So it does use heat. So come with your bottle of water, stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. I, I was sweating a little bit, y'all, <laughs> but I love, love my results just after the, this very first session with the fibrosis that I have mm -hmm. on my uh, tummy tuck scar. Mm -hmm. I can, therapy. yeah, that wood therapy helped that mm -hmm. and I just can't wait to come back to her. So now I just got to sit here and get this injection. Mm -hmm. Let me show y'all. I'm getting a 
lipo C injection yes, and B12. Not bad at all. Ladies, she also has waist beads. Yes. Super cute. Look at all these different styles. Mm -hmm. And she has some on herself. Yes, I don't know if you want to show. Yes, you want to show? show them the small mm -hmm. waist. She got the small snatch. Snatch. She snatched, y'all. Yes. <laughs> so she knows what she's doing. Yes. And the waist beads look so cute. And they're the ones that are stretchy, so you can mm -hmm. take them off. Yes. Yes. I love that. Y'all, not me pulled over in Home Depot's parking lot eating Chick fil A. It is 5 p.m. This is my first meal of the day. After that massage, I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I need to eat something. So. Always. Always. I got a hold in my mouth, y'all. <gasps> Good thing these are black leggings. Okay. Let me devour this get home and do what I gotta do because I might be going out tonight. I don't know yet, but I might be. Okay, y'all. I'm in Dee Dee's. I haven't been with y'all in Dee Dee's in a minute. But, um, I came to return some stuff. But, you know, I had to look and see what they got. This is cute. This is cute. Mock turtleneck. Midi dress. Love this rust color. That is really cute. But I got this in my basket. Lord Jesus. No, I don't need it. But I love the color. Just a rust. Uh, super stretchy bodysuit. $7.99. I'm like, that's cheap. I can't beat that. Then I found this. It's an avocado saver. You put your avocado in there face down with those seeds still in it. On clearance for $1.50. Now, this might be kind of an impulse buy. I said I need this, and it's really big. I, you guys probably can't tell, but I said I would use this for whenever I move, and I actually have a beauty room. But what if my next place don't have a beauty room? Because I haven't picked one out yet, but I want, I plan to have one. And it has lights and everything, and the size is really big. <sighs> then I found these sandals, which are really cute for $3.99, fit good, but I already have orange sandals at home that I haven't worn in like two years. So I don't even know, the price is good, but I don't think I need to, I don't know, probably don't need to waste my money. They got a few nice um, school jeans on clearance. Mm -hmm. I don't really like those. These are nice. I wish y'all could feel this material. There's some joggers, but they feel very luxe. Wow. Seven dollars. Hmm, I wonder if anything would like those. Some brown skinny jeans, five ninety nine. These are nice, y'all. Even these, like some moto, moto cut jeans. These are fly. Seven dollars. I see they do have a name brand, like that's Gap, but they scratch the G out. Here go some more dark blue Gap jeans for little boys, $6.99. So y'all come to these, they got name brand. Here go some Levi's, $9.99. Y'all know some black skinny jeans? These are nice, $7.99, that's cheaper than Target. I need to take them Target jeans back that I bought him last week. Where else can you find a full workout set for $6.99? Full workout set. Here going orange. Oh shit, this is $4.99. Come with the pants and a top. That's crazy and it says run. That's cute. That's really cute. Do I need this? Oh lord. <laughs> this is Dee Dee's y'all. For y'all that have never seen Dee Dee's, this is it. It looks like Ross for the most part. Um, yeah, it's pretty much like Ross. I mean, that's their sister store. And they're playing hip-hop music because they're... <laughs> it's so funny. All right, let me hit a few more aisles and then let me go. Cute crop white jacket. 
fourteen dollars. That's cute. This one's not cropped, but you can definitely cut it, wash it, and make it your own cropness. This is so cute and so me, but I don't need it. It's only ten ninety nine. So cute. Oh, Gina, no, no. And they do have perfume. Most of the perfume is like inspired perfume, but they do definitely have like name brand. Like there's Ariana, Ariana Grande. They have Perry Ellis. They probably got like Rihanna, and Nicki Minaj, stuff like that. So, yep, here's some Nicki Minaj. So I got all that stuff for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. I only had to pay fifty-five dollars out of pocket though because I had a return that um ate up that other cost but y'all the good thing about Didi's, Dee Didi's Dee during the week stays open till 10 p.m here and then thursday friday saturday they stay up until 10 30 and they open at 8 a.m so Didi's Dee has got them good store hours in houston just to give you guys an idea in houston pretty much every single store closes at 9 p.m like higher end stores close around like 7 p.m like chanel closes at seven i think maybe six six or seven like chanel prada um louis vuitton they close like early but regular stores marshall's tj maxx um dollar tree they close at nine o'clock so yeah i'm taking a picture of my receipt hope y'all have been using y'all's fetch rewards taking pictures of everything i tell you guys that all the time i probably wasted a dollar fifty on that little um avocado saver because y'all know the way to save avocados and apples from turning so quick when you want to put them in the refrigerator all you do is put a little bit of uh lemon juice in a baggie with it and the lemon juice helps keep keep it uh better for like a day or two so I really didn't have to spend that dollar fifty, but y'all, my friends want to go out tonight. Oh my god! I do not like going out in Houston. I will go out on a Sunday because Sunday is just so casual. Sunday fun day is you go out early and you're back in the house early. Tonight it's a Thursday. It's a club club, so I would have to actually dress up wear heels y'all know i don't like wearing heels if it ain't necessary i don't want to wear no heels i got flat feet my feet ain't set up for that and i'm putting on makeup changing my wig styling my wig picking out an outfit making sure the outfit looks good changing my purse just doing all of that is just like ugh. like i don't that just sound that's just like a turn off right now i just that just does not sound good and i haven't eaten nothing I need to eat. It's 10 o'clock. They talking about going for 11, 11 30. So I would have literally have to go home and rush. <sighs> My sister said that she don't want to go. Portia's in town. She said she don't want to go. My other two homegirls that y'all have never seen, they've never been on. Oh, you know what? One of them may have, one of them was in a vlog a long time ago, but the other one has not, has not been in any vlogs. Um, at least I don't think you know what Friendsgiving my Friendsgiving vlog they were both in that and those are the two girls that want to um go out tonight I just I hate getting ready y'all it's it's literally I hate getting ready and then the Houston nightlife is just so bleh eh. I've been seeing the same people for 10 years 10 plus years huh <sighs> This is why I, I, I only like going out when I'm out of town. Even when I'm out of town, y'all have seen, I don't really like hitting up the club. I like, I'd like rather do different type of adventures, go to different eating places, just a, a lounge. Like, I like more stuff like that. Like when I go to Miami in, in two days, I wanna get on a boat, I wanna do jet skis, I wanna lay out on the beach, I wanna be sipping a drink by a pool, like, I don't I, I could I could go without the loud music and people popping bottles and all that I don't know I'm just ranting I'm really trying to talk my, <laughs> me talking to y'all telling y'all this is me trying to talk myself out of going tonight uh, I'll make a decision when I get home I'll make a final decision 
So I'm back home. Oh, I didn't show you guys these waist beads. These waist beads. Did I show you guys? I probably did. I don't know until I edit the video. But anyways, the girl who did my um, body contour today, she sells waist beads and she gave me three of them. These are so cute. These look cute with a bathing suit. I mean, they look cute with what I got on already. But if I am gonna go out tonight, I need to eat. This chicken is three days old, y'all. I made it Monday and today is Thursday. Sure, do y'all think it's still good? <laughs> and this is from Tuesday, from the Popeye's Tuesday special. So I'm about to just put together a meal of leftovers. <laughs> Don't judge. I'm about to put this chicken in the air fryer and baby, she gonna be good as new, watch. Baked chicken wings, baked chicken wings. Three day old chicken wings. Ooh, y'all look at that, look at that. Y'all can't tell me that's three day old chicken. Y'all can't tell me that's two day old red beans and rice and mashed potatoes. Y'all can't tell me that this is a, that this is a uh, old plate. Baby, this was made today, okay? <laughs> Boy, that chicken look good and crispy. Boy, that air fryer made it good as new. Mm-hmm, I'm, I'm about to devour this. After eating this, I might get some energy to go out tonight. We'll see. I might be jumping a gun, but we'll see. Guess I'm going out. <laughs> oh, I did my makeup so fast. My eyebrows look like shit. Boy, I did my eyebrows terrible. They look Hair. Oh my, oh my God, my eyebrows look awful. Whew. I ain't worn red lipstick in like two years. This feels so weird. So weird. Ugh. But I'm wearing this two piece of Red Dolls outfit. Had this forever, never wore it. <sighs> and then I'm wearing these um, Bottega dupe shoes that I got from AliExpress. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then my red Prada nylon bag. I'm wearing that. So I'm just a little red and gray number going on. Let me lotion these feet. Let me show y'all the whole outfit together. And y'all, it is already 1230. Houston Club's closing too. And it takes me 30 minutes to get anywhere. And I ain't got my shoes on. Still got my... Okay, y'all, this is the look. Red dolls. Two pieces. Oh shit, I almost fell. <laughs> Just lotion my feet and they try to slide out the front of my shoe. <sighs> Anyways, Rep Dolls two piece set. I've had this literally for almost a year. So it's probably not on their site anymore. It might be, I don't know. I have it in a size medium. Rep Dolls shit is the shit. I love Rep Dolls. I just don't work with them no more because they will take a month to pay me after I release the video. I, it don't work like that. Anyway, so here's my Prada bag. My red dupe sandals. These are a dupe. They're not fake. They're a dupe. That's the difference. Let me say replica. They're not a replica because they don't say uh, Bottega on them. Anyway, yeah, so these are my Fotegas. Have my makeup done. A red lip. Silver accessories. Silver watch. Y'all, this the look. She cute. She cute. She strut. She strut. Oh, okay. Let me put on some perfume. Skirts like this, you have to take baby steps. It's literally so tight at the bottom. I'm literally taking baby steps because I can't take a full stride. Like, I cannot. Where's the perfume? Okay. This is tonight's scent. This is my latest perfume. And no, I don't have any nails on. Don't judge. Y'all know I'm just. I am just so not that, that nail girl anymore. Whether I have nails on or I don't, I don't care. Take me as I am, boo. Yeah, this is the scent. I love this, it smells so good. It smells so, so good. I probably should have wore YSL Libre. It seems like a Libre type night, but I'm in a rush. So, if I vlog any more for the rest of the night, Y'all already know it's going to be on my phone because I ain't bringing my camera. You know what? I lied. I can bring y'all in the car with me at least. Y'all can ride with me. Let me get Bessie because she going to ride with me too. 
that. Got to keep that iron. Got to keep that iron with me. When I'm riding by myself, I cannot. I ain't taking no chances. You want to play? She like to play too. Let me stop acting like I'm just about that life. I'll be scared as fuck. I gotta use this motherfucker. Oh my God. Oh, I'd be literally like, I don't want to shoot you, Mr. Bad Guy. I don't want to shoot you, my scary ass. Your pictures, listen to me, I see your career go sky high. Taking you home to the crib and it's on the couch, you put on six and pause. I can see your beauty. Oh, I do. And all my ladies that be giving it up. My love. A light skinned friend look like Michael Jackson got a dark skinned friend look Don't push your shoulders off Niggas is crazy baby don't forget that boy told you kid All right so it brought me to the wrong location this is crazy It brought me to a neighborhood cuz I actually put in the address of the club and not the name of the club so I guess there's a lot of 2208 main streets <laughs> I, I don't know but it brought me to a fucking neighborhood and now I just put in the actual name of the club and it's saying I have a 21 minute drive now this is absolutely nuts it says that I have a 135 arrival time and the clubs close at 2 oh, is it even worth it I'm already dressed I guess I can go sit down and have one drink because that's all it's going to be. One drink. This is crazy. And then I still have to park, walk in. And you know you don't just walk in. You got to go to the door and say, I'm like, hey, I'm with this section and blah, blah, blah. They got to check your purse. They got to put a wristband on you. Like, oh my God. And then this nigga is texting me back to back to fucking back. I... I, I don't understand these these niggas is weird and they feelings weird as fuck <laughs> weird as fuck I, I'm about to I'm gonna be doing a story time about these industry niggas I, I'm literally gonna be doing a story time so I just need to figure out how I can word it to where y'all can't put two and two together who it is <laughs> so but niggas be, hmm, I don't know. About a college. Club closing 20 minutes and they're charging 40 for parking. I think the fuck not. I'm about to park on this street. Huh, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to park right chill. Ain't no hydrant. Ain't no sign. Ain't no red paint. I'm parking right here. Yeah, for free for 20 minutes. Please don't scratch my rim. Jesus, please don't scratch my rim. Please don't scratch my rim. Oh, that's rose gold across the street. It surely is. Oh, please don't scratch. Okay, Gina. Backing up is like the worst, scariest thing to do. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I gotta build for it again and try this again. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. I just can't afford to scratch my rim again. I've scratched two rims so far that need to get buffed. Gina, why is your wheel turned? Like, make your wheel straight and go straight back. This is so embarrassing. See, this is why I need to get rich and get chauffeured around. Because this shit is embarrassing. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Well, at this point, it's afternoon, but I've been up since the morning. I've been up for about a, over an hour. I woke up at like 10.45, I think. Missed my lip appointment. I had a lip filler appointment for 10 a.m., but my dumb ass was just up for no good reason until 5.30 in the morning. Well, I mean, I was up. I was on the phone laughing, joking, doing all, until 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. For what? Anyway, so I'm about to call them in a minute to see if I can come in um, a little bit later. Uh, what else, y'all? I'm two hours behind taking my birth control. I mean, not that I could get pregnant anyway. Uh, you got to be doing something actively to get pregnant. <laughs> but still, um, 
last night i it's a long story y'all i don't it's a long story y'all saw part of the story how my gps took me somewhere like 25 minutes out the way and i was already late i already didn't want to go but anyway i didn't go in inside anywhere i didn't go inside anywhere i did a whole bunch of driving just to drive back home so that outfit that y'all saw last night you'll be seeing it again soon Maybe in Miami, Miami soon, like maybe this weekend soon. <laughs> so, oh, uh, so annoying because I did not want to get up and get dressed. Uh, last night also made me realize I need to find a new way to do my eyebrows because this boxy shit ain't what's up. I get so many compliments on my eyebrows, so many. And this is me waking, like waking up. I fell asleep with my makeup on, just FYI, so just refer back uh like a minute ago a minute and a half ago two minutes ago i don't know when i was talking about how ugly my brows look i need a new brow routine but these are not these are not 2021 approved these are 2012 approved not 2021 i need a new brow routine i need to i need to get out of just wearing my makeup the exact same like i have not changed my makeup in forever the way I do my makeup. I haven't. Yeah. So I actually watched like two brow tutorials last night. So I might try that. One girl, she's like a makeup artist on her natural brows. And she has less brows than I do. I have a, I have a lot of eyebrow. She put brow wax on her natural brows and brushed the front up, brushed the rest back. And then literally just put a line underneath and a line on top really thin 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 line and then kind of like used a spoolie and brushed the brushed it into her real brow and it looked perfect and it looked natural and it looked like just a brow like it didn't even look like a slayed brow it looked like just a really nice natural brow but she didn't name what product she used dang i'm just not realizing that i use dollar store brown pencils and just be coloring in. Don't put no foundation around them to carve them out. Don't do none of that. I used to. I used to put like that, the really light foundation around it and blend it out. And bl I, I stopped doing that. Makeup is just not like, y'all know 95% of the time I am bare face. So like doing makeup, I dread it. Like, ugh, I got to put makeup on today. Ugh, I got to do my makeup. Oh, this re event requires makeup. <sighs> this is from last night. Y'all see that? I truly don't want to put makeup on. I'm going to go. Just not going to put on makeup. Because I don't feel like it. LOL. She proceeds to tell me, just put on a little. It's not going to take that long. And I put fine. I'll be ready in 30 minutes. But you see, I put the sad face. I put fine. Then I wrote, whatever's on my brushes, that's what I'm using. LOL. And she put LOL. Let me call the office, see if they'll let me back in. Let me in for the appointment today. And it's crazy. I had a 5 p.m. appointment. They called me yesterday. Want to bump it up to 10 a.m.? I'm like, sure. Yeah, let's get it out the way. And what I do? Miss it. Thank you for contacting Aesthetic Surgery. How may I help you? Hi, I missed my um lip filler appointment for 10 a.m. Do y'all have anything else for today or? Okay, let me check. Miss Londa, I overslept. <laughs> yes, I could do that. I could do four. Okay, I'll go ahead and put you at four. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Oh, and y'all, part of that conversation till 5 30 in the morning i'm telling telling him that i don't like watching um scary movies and i don't like watching like end of the world type movies and i don't wa like watching movies like the purge i don't like watching movies of stuff that could possibly happen i don't like watching movies like that so the purge is one of them i've seen i saw purge part one and I saw part of that Purge part two. I don't know what it was called. But anyway, I believe we're on part three now. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I don't keep up with it. Anyway, I'm telling him this. Last night, well this morning at 5 a.m. 
Then as soon as I wake up, I'm, I look at my Facebook, you know, news, Facebook news pops up. Why two teenage TikTok stars were watching The Purge and a dude just walks in and kills both of them? I'm not, no. Like what? I remember when that happened with Batman years ago. I believe it was a Batman movie. And somebody walked in and started killing people in the movie theater. I'm I'm not watching no weird shit. I'm I'm about to I'm watching comedies and love stories at the movie theater or, or kids movies. That's it. I'm not watching none of that. I don't even like watching them at home. So I'll be damned if I go to the movie theater and watch it. That shit fucked me up. I was just talking about it. And the first thing I see this morning when I roll over, look at my phone on Facebook news, two kids. I, I'm like, I can't believe this. I went to, and I, then I went to their TikToks. I went to their Instagram pages and just, oh, I just cannot imagine what their family is going through. I, I cannot imagine. It's, that is horrible. And I mean, they look like such good, sweet kids, like just innocent, like, oh my God, I want to get emotional. Just, you, you're, you're going to the movie just trying to enjoy your afternoon or evening and you wound up dead in the movie theater. Then they said it was like nobody was in there, basically. They said only like four tickets were bought or something. Two of the victims, the one um, guy who is the um, who's the suspect, and then I don't know who, who the other ticket went to. But anyway, they didn't know that anybody was in there killed until after the movie when they came to clean up because the movie was, I guess, that loud with gunshots through the whole through the movie. That they didn't hear that these kids getting shot. I, I'm, I'm too through. I, I just, I can't. I can't imagine. That's so sad. So scary. So sad. I, I'm about to make some avocado toast. I pray my avocado is still good. I think I bought it four days ago. Maybe five. Oh, shit. Why every time I open my door, it's a bug just waiting to scare the hell out of me? I I, I hate this neighborhood. Like, I really do. Nike sit. Oh, is this Nike package? This should be Nike. Yeah, it is. I made an order from Nike for the kids. Back to school t-shirt. Mainly for Ethan. I think I ordered Ashton one shirt, maybe. Did I order her shirt? I, that whole order might have been for Ethan. I got him a backpack, sweats, t-shirts. Ashton's just so picky, y'all. Let me see what's in this package. Now, one thing I don't like about Nike, they'll send all your stuff in a bunch of separate orders. I hate that. Oh yeah, this is the backpack. Ethan picked this one out. It's just a black backpack that says Nike Air and Blue. Okay, let's cut this avocado. Let's see. Today's the 30th, and I feel like that I bought this on the 24th. Dang, so it's been a week, y'all. What y'all think? What's your bet? Is it going to be okay, or is it going to be bad? Taking bets, taking bets. Ooh, that thing pretty. Ooh, that thing pretty, y'all. Wow. And it smells good, because... You can be fooled. I've been fooled. It didn't happen very often. Well, I had an old avocado about, about this age, about a week old. I cut it. I'm like, okay, it looks good. I made my avocado toast, y'all. When I tell you, I have never had a flavor like that in my mouth before. It came from the pits of hell. That flavor came, it was like death in my mouth. I could not believe it, it was like a rotten animal. I could not believe that a vegetable tasted like a some rotten flesh. Like, I don't know what rotten flesh tastes like, but I could just imagine. So, smell fine. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what this bread do. Oh, child, this bread. This Oh, this bread is expired, but it don't stink. Do it got any spots on it? Don't have any spots on it. It don't smell like bananas. Y'all know when old bread gets old, 
it starts smelling like bananas. It smells fine, don't have nothing on it. Guess what? We taking a chance today. Um, a lot of y'all told me to start putting my bread either in the refrigerator or the freezer so it can prolong the life of it. I'm gonna start doing that. I need to, I take y'all's advice on a lot of stuff, a lot. Y'all have like, y'all have been like so helpful with so many different things, but I need to take your advice on that because I, we never finish bread. Like my kids, they act like they too bougie to eat sandwiches for lunch. They don't want turkey sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They're like, can you make me hot dogs? Can you put some um, nuggets in the air fryer? Can, can you do this? Can you do that? I'm like, can you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some Ruffles potato chips? That's what I ate as a kid. And around the age of like eight, that's when I could start making my own little lunch. They, they won't do it. They want hot food. They won't. Anyway. But uh, so I do need to start doing that so I don't be wasting my money. This, the rest of this is going in the trash. Uh, I said. <laughs> I say in one vlog that I like eating end pieces of bread. I know most people don't like ends. I like end pieces of bread. See, don't lose this thought, Gina. Don't lose that thought. Scam likely. God, doggy. Um, I like end pieces of bread because they're so thin. And like, if you want to put in a hot dog, you can just do that easily. There, I don't know what it is, but anyway, I eat end pieces of bread. And somebody in the comments, I haven't eaten an end piece of bread since then. Somebody in the comments said, you eat the slice of bread that everybody's hand touches every single time. That shit blew my fucking mind. I never thought of it that way, y'all. Everybody's hand does take that piece, that end piece, throw, push, push it down, and get the bread behind it. I was disgusted. I, I've been eating uh, end pieces all these years, enjoying them, really liking them. And now I just can't do it no more. I, can, I, I cannot do it no more. They say everybody's, you eat the slice of bread that everybody's hand touches. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. And then you know how little kids are. When they reach in to get bread, they will have dug in their nose, not wash their hands. They would have, my kids go outside, pick up rocks, bugs. And I just been eating. From week old avocado. Y'all know avocado is really only good two, three days tops. So good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. 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 That's good. I used to make my avocado toast, I used to just slice it and make pretty slices. Lay it on top of the bread and then sprinkle the seasoning on top. Then I started seeing fellow YouTubers actually bake it into like a guacamole kind of. Smashing it up, putting all the seasoning in it. And I'm like, why are they doing that? That's dumb. And then I tried it. And I said, I'm the dumb one this whole time. I've been, I've been doing it the dumb way the whole time. When you make it like this, first of all, it like gives you more. It seems crazy, but you you like get more, I guess because it's now like a spread and then it's seasoned better. Every bite has all the seasoning in it. Like, so good. 
Mm. Yeah. All right, y'all, this is today's outfit. Please excuse Nipplegate. I mean, that's just nature. But a lot of y'all ask me why I wear denim jackets all the time. Jean, you wear denim jackets for everything. Why you always wear denim jackets? Why denim jackets? Because my nipples are always hard and this camouflages them. And this doesn't help me, make me feel as naked, you know? Cause I wear spandex. Like that's all your girl wears is spandex. I can't wear loose fitting clothes that the slim girls can get away with because I have a heavy chest, I have a heavy bottom and anything loose or like hanging on my body makes me look 30 pounds heavier. So that's why I'm a spandex girl. Okay, now that we're past that, let's get onto the outfit. I got on some DD's sunglasses. Let me show you how they look. Y'all don't sleep on DD sunglasses. If you go DD shopping, they have the same glasses that they sell in the middle of the mall that they be selling y'all two for $25. They have them for $3.99 and $4.99. DD's. This necklace is from. Can we get a little bit closer? Yes, we can. This necklace is from AliExpress. Look how cute it is. It has that little lock detail on the front. Cute. Then I have just some rhinestone hoop earrings, also AliExpress. This little gray racer top is from Zara. Got on clearance for $2.99. These are the famous Didi's leggings, $3.99. One size fits all. Light gray. I have every single color. Every color that Didi's comes out with in these one size leggings, I get them. Every color. Moving on to the bottom, I have on my Yeezy 700 Wave Runners. Yeezys, most comfortable shoes ever made. I know a lot of people don't like Yeezy because he likes Trump. But his sneakers and them, them foam shoes that y'all be buying, super comfortable. Now here's the denim jacket. This is a Forever 21 crop denim jacket. Y'all have seen it before. It's just a light shade. I have about mm, probably 15 denim jackets. This is just one of 15. It's 100 degrees outside, but I want to keep the nipples covered, at least a little. Now moving on, I mix highs and lows. Pretty much the whole outfit is Dee Dee's. Pretty much, or AliExpress. This is a Givenchy Mini Antigona. Got it pre-loved. Paid about, I think, $1,200 pre-loved in the store for this size. I think it is like $1,900 but they don't sell silver anymore. So I had to buy her pre-love. This chain I bought from Amazon for like four or five dollars and I just added it on to give it a little pop. So we all gray and silver today. You like? You like? Then we have my Rolex watch. Y'all know X Boo got me that. Then we have these stackable rings. Here's a double one on that finger, one on that finger. These are from Dee Dee's. Dee Dee's rhinestone rings. Moving on to the bracelets. These are both from AliExpress. One is like a belt buckle chain. The other one is a bangle. Both from, both from AliExpress. And then this ring here is from Dee Dee's as well. Just a little rhinestone ring, about $6. So yes, y'all, mix up your highs and lows. Let me go get these lips done. Let me get ready for this pain. Numbing. And yes, this is yesterday's makeup. Don't judge. I just touched it up a bit. Squeeze ball. I'm squeeze ball. <laughs> if you don't, it's fine. You don't have to go looking for it. If you don't have it, I'll be all right. well even more. I'm at the mall now at Zara. Y'all, there's no line. None. Zero. I'm like, let me do this return real quick before everybody decides to just run up. So I'm going to do that. And then I also have to, I think I want to stop by one more store. And then that's it. My lips don't look swollen yet. They look the same. I think tomorrow they'll swell up. One thing about me, I'm always gonna find a denim jacket. I don't know if I need this though. <sighs> I just told y'all I have so many, but this one has distressing on it and it's fitted and not oversized, so I don't know. 
my sleeves are always ridiculous. Look at how short that sleeve is. Always ridiculous, but I mean, I'm gonna have to roll it up anyway, so. Okay, we are about to go on Trend Mall now. I went to two stores in the Galleria and I was over it and I'm hungry, so I'm like, I don't need to be spending no money that I didn't anticipate on spending. Well, I already did that at Zara because I did buy that denim jacket. But I can go home and change my mind. I got 30 days. You know, that's how I always justify my purchases. I got 30 days. I got 14 days. I can get my money back. Anyway, we're going to Trend Mall. This is somewhere where you cannot get any money back. Zero. They give you seven days to make an exchange. That's it. But this place, I always tell you guys, if you ever come to Houston, this is like Fashion Nova. Just the, the, see, that's Trend Mall. It's like a Fashion Nova warehouse. That's just how I can describe it. Anything you see on Fashion Nova, not anything, but most, you're going to find it here, or at least pretty close to it. because my flight is at 8 a.m. which means they probably start boarding at like well, my flights at 8 20 so they probably start boarding at like 7 50 like 30 minutes before but yeah I went to this restaurant that my best friend just rants and raves about it's so good she eats there she eats inside of there I got it to go look how this shit looks to go this is $40 four zero and no, I didn't touch it. I have not started eating any of it. Yes, I did have to pick it up and drive home with it. So maybe it slid. But y'all, $40. There's short ribbon mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. What the hell? This look like a, a, a fudge brownie. That's what that look like. But she says it is just so good, Gina. It's so good. It ain't even that tender. Like, I should be able to... Okay, so it's breaking a little bit. I don't know. For $40, I, I just expected a different type of presentation. Let me taste it. Maybe the flavor makes up for how it looks. It smell good. And it does hurt to chew because I got my lips done a few hours ago. That's just okay. I might need to give it another chance and eat there. I ain't $40 impressed at all. Okay, y'all. I think I'm about to end it here. I'm tired. I need to pack. After I pack, I need to lay it down. 
So I love you guys. And I will see y'all in Miami for the girls trip. All right, y'all. Catch y'all on the next one. Bye.